All right, we'll go ahead and get started with Coach Trailer. Just use the raise hand function to ask questions. Greg? Jeff, how are you doing? Good, Greg. How are you? I'm doing well. I guess maybe a good place to start is just to get a kind of a general overview from you on the group you brought in and what your impressions were of how today played out for UTSA. Yeah, well, I've signed uh, 13 players. Uh, I think it's, make sure I'm right, seven on offense, five on D, one specialist. Big emphasis on O-line, D-line as always, and uh, seven Texas high school signees again, which keeps us 100%. Uh, it's 34 uh, that we've signed now. and Still got some room left in this class. Uh, we could sign up to seven more, and uh, so it's, it's where we are. I know you mentioned on Monday that there were kind of some battles or some guys that were still up in the air. How did some of those sort of late decisions play out this week? Were you happy with how that shook out as the dust settled here? Sign day, right? Every college coach in the country got every player they wanted, and it went just the way we all planned it. I was fortunate today I got to go over and talk to uh, your Central Catholic offensive lineman, Ben Rios and DeAndre Marshall. What jumps out about those two guys in general? Size and character. IQ, came to count, really wanted to be here. Uh, just very loyal to the 210. They're very much about UTSA. And um, we're excited about both those young men. How much do you think it kind of sets them up for success to be coming in here together? Is that important or does that help as they sort of get settled into a new environment? It probably helps. I mean, they're good friends. They played together in high school. and. Um, I know they, you know, came in my office and committed together. So a special bond there and they'll be playing together. So I would imagine that would help both those young men. And how important is it for you? You talked about this before to make sure that San Antonio was represented in this signing class and that every year you have some people from this immediate region coming in here. Yeah, no doubt. We we're going after the ones that, you know, in the city and we hit on some, we miss on some, right. And uh, it's important that we recruit them and offer them. And the high school coaches know that we have a great relationship. And maybe we didn't get on this time, but maybe we get on next time. You know, who knows? They might go to that school that appeared to be all that and want to come back. So we're, we're definitely giving as a, 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 a good a shot as we can. Okay, we'll go to you, JJ. Jeff, how would you, I guess, compare this class with your class that you signed last year? I know it's totally different guys, but I guess in terms of, you know, number and prestige, how, how would you compare the two? Uh, I wouldn't even be able to address that. I'm sorry, JJ. I don't even know how many we signed last year or what that was. Uh, because it's, you know, it's weird because to me it's not done till February. So I'll, I'll get a little bit better synopsis when we're done. Uh, I know we still have some needs left in this class. But we need to address the offensive line still, the cornerback position. Uh, and a couple of other needs that, you know, some things I know about our roster that you guys don't quite know yet, or y'all might know, you're just not telling anybody like me, who knows? Uh, so we still got some things we got to get taken care of. You added a uh, tight end. I know you're a big fan of the tight ends. Can you just talk about that pickup? Yeah. Uh, Houston's playing this weekend. We've got two kids playing for a state championship this weekend. You know, Brandon Tennyson's playing as well at Gilmer. And, um, you know, I like length. I like We lost just about all of that. I think if you could, if you could run down Houston again and what he kind of brings to the table. Okay. Um, you know, first of all, Houston plays at a great program. Uh, they're playing for the state championship this weekend, um, as does Brandon Tennyson at Gilmer. So it's always important to bring kids in that have won and are continuing to play at the highest level. He's long. He's big. He's fast. He's athletic. Um, and you can't have enough of those guys on your team. And we're, we always want to have six or seven on our roster for their tight ends. Okay, Greg. 
You brought in uh, also assigned to Owen Peewee, if I'm saying that right. He's the highest rated recruit that UTSA has ever landed, at least according to 24-7. Sort of what jumps out about him? Again, size, physicality, athleticism. When you see him, he, he looks the part. Um, what I loved about him is, you know, when I was doing my introduction to the players about the culture pillars, you know, I quizzed all those recruits way before they were committed or signed. Uh, and he he knows right now probably what the pinky finger, the ring finger, middle index, thumb, he really listens. And uh, I told him he was one of my favorite kids from the jump street. And he sat on the front row. So he checked all my boxes. Okay, Hector, we'll go to you. Coach, good afternoon. Hi, Hector. Um, want to circle back to, to Ben and DeAndre real quick. I know how important culture uh, is to you, a culture of a team. Um, Central Catholic is a place that has a very unique culture into itself. Just wondering if you had, if you had a chance to kind of get a sense of it in, in the process of recruiting those two. Well, Santiago does a fantastic job. And, you know, I know what he stands for, what he's about, and that school, what it's about. And, and you can also tell why those two young men represent themselves, what, what they're about. So they'll be a great fit for us. Uh, they're, they're very loyal to the city. They, they love UTSA. We're their school. And uh, those kind of guys always do well, uh, especially in a time right now where with name, image, and likeness, uh, you know, you just wonder what all, what all is going on, right? And, and these kids, are they, they want to come play for UTSA. Thank you, Coach. Okay, Greg. Jeff, I wanted to ask you about that. How was this cycle different because of the introduction of NIO, whether it's stuff you dealt with locally or just kind of what you've seen in the broader sense? Uh, I think common sense would prevail. We all know what's going on right now with that. and Something we're going to have to really get in the game with. We're going to have to up it here um, and make sure we understand what we're competing against. And uh, it's, I don't make the rules. I just got to play by the rules. And those are the new rules. So uh, we got to get in the game. Do you think that those rules might be amended at some point to curtail kind of the impact it has on recruiting? Or is that something you have a stance on? I just have to be careful when you answer those kind of questions. I mean, politics get involved, free enterprise, monopolies, coaches versus players. I mean, they just get spun so many ways. It's an impossible question to answer. I mean, tonight the radio show was we're drinking sweet tea. I'd, I'll shoot the bull with you about it, but I would hate to go on record and give my stance on name, image, and likeness right now because it's a no-win answer. Whatever I say is wrong, um, and whatever I say, my words could easily be misinterpreted. That's the most polite way to duck a question I've ever ducked in my life. Okay, Hector, we'll go back to you. You ducked it well, Coach. You ducked it well. Thank sweet, you, Hector. Sweet tea, though? Well, duck that one, too. <laughs> so I know you've been recruiting all of these young men for a while now, but whether it came to a closing pitch or these, when you keep it in contact these, these last couple of weeks and really months, how was the approach different in that you're the hunted now as opposed to the hunters in trying to get these kids to commit? You'd be shocked at how much name, image, and likeness is involved in all this right now. It, you know, it's, it's, it's on everybody's mind pretty much. And there's, there's a few in here that, you know, they're just dying to come play here and that's all they care about. And there's some that aren't here that that was not what they were about. And uh, that's just become very, very in the forefront right now. Um, it was, it's just different. It's just the, it's just different right now. And that we all got to learn to adjust to it. Gotcha. Thank you, Coach. Any more questions for Coach Trailer? All right. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thanks, Jeff.